Alrighty guys, got the driver's side uh, strut in, but now we've run into a problem getting the lower control arm off. Um, the nut is just spinning. So the only cure for that is actually cutting into the floor. And I'll show you where that is. Some people go through the side, but that um, kind of does not very well to the actual structure of the body because the body is the frame, right? So, at least Chrysler, at least Chrysler was smart and knew this was gonna happen and actually put an indent where you actually have to run a hole saw and cut the floor. So I've got the floor up here and just pulling this foam up in a second here. Pull this floor up. Sorry about that guys. But you see that round indent right there? That's what we have to cut out. So I'll cut out on the inside of that and replace it with like a, a rubber firewall grommet, or like a body mount um, grommet. And hold the bolt from up here and undo it from the bottom and we'll be golden. With a non-surprised customer because he's had it happen before. <laughs> <laughs> just, not this just not this car. <laughs> well, alrighty guys, alrighty Scotty. Okay guys, uh, we're back working on this PT Cruiser, that uh, lower control arm stripped bolt. Um, the absolute only way to do it is cut the floor open. So I got my cutoff wheel, my air cutoff wheel, and here you'll see there's the round indent right under the brake pedal you just gotta cut your uh, foam padding chip away this black stuff um, I just cut a square and then flipped it up and there's our bolt that's spinning right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the hell out of that with some penetrating oil and see if I can get on it with the uh, channel locks and see what happens because hopefully I don't have to tear out that whole thing they're talking about um, this plastic but hopefully not but we're gonna shoot it with some penetrating and see what we can't go get going on okay guys hopefully you can see that but I've got just a key wedged in beside the, uh, I guess, nut. It's just a square piece, and it's actually working now. I've lubed the heck out of it, gave it a bit of heat, and it's starting to move now. So we're going to try and buzz it out with impact, and we'll see what happens. Doing a fine job there, Scotty. Good. <laughs> Taking some pictures. <laughs> That's no fucking Picasso shit going on if there. Anybody needs their calipers painted? Just give me a show. <laughs> give me a show. I only do yellow. Yep. You can catch me on Tuesdays. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, we got this finally done. What a pain in the ass. Um, so I just gonna. It's a little sharp, but that bolt in there was a pain in the ass. I ended up cutting the whole uh, top bracket crap off with a sawzall and then having to wedge to get it back up in there. I had to wedge a piece of steel so it stays on the flat edge and uh, impact it in. But it's done. Absolutely done. What a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to throw this back down, throw a couple tack welds, throw some caulking in there, some uh, asphalt underguard over that, and put the carpet back. 
What a hell of a job, eh, Scott? Awesome job. Awesome. You're the greatest. <laughs> And we're going to end up replacing the stabilizer linkage because those bolts are actually bent. And if anybody's wondering, the uh, control arms and everything is the same as the Dodge Neon. It's the same product code number, everything. For like 10 years, ain't it? Yep. yep. 1 to 10. Yeah, 01 to, to 2010, they're all the same. Alrighty guys, what a hell of a job. But that's what you gotta do to get a PT Cruiser control arm off. <laughs> Cheers. Guys, got her all done. Got the summer wheels on, change the oil. Put the winter ones out. And, see, she's all back together, beauty. Nice. Wouldn't even know it was done, eh? <laughs> happy customer. Happy, happy. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>